E-I-D-L, the big grant you've been wondering about. Well, my sources say that you're going to be paid the remainder of a $10,000 E-I-D-L grant shortly. And you'll get an email getting you ready to get it. In this throwback video on Overnight to LA, I go over the EIDL grant, which may also be in Biden third stimulus. He says his business grants in there. Will it be called EIDL? Presumably it will. How do you do an EIDL? How does it work? And how does it contrast with the EIDL loan? In this throwback video, I go over all those details. So enjoy this, these items and these insights on how to get EIDL on Overnight LA Light. How soon do you get your EIDL grant money after your loan is processed, either denied or approved? That is the big question the viewers have been asking, and we have the bombshell up today for you today. Thanks for tuning in. This is LA Light. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel when you get an alert when Javita Lake goes on holiday. Blaine 666 disappears, but someone in a psychedelic shirt returns for another new <laughs> out of the ordinary wacko video. And Charlie will be answering all 122 of your EID on grant questions today. If you are new to this channel or you just tuning in or came in from the flight to Mars of Elon Musk, uh, this is what this channel has been doing for today. Earlier today, we launched the EIDL, we didn't launch, but we delivered you an EIDL loan video, which details the importance of getting your credit score up to get your loan approved. I'll drop it in the links above. We also did a video called... <laughs> Negotiate, uh, negotiating your EIDL loan up and down, which is a big topic of discussion. So we did a special on that. We also had three second stimulus check videos today. One on 50,000 new jobs that are being offered by one major company in the United States. Go get yourself a job. Uh, second one is $15 million in grant money just announced today, just today. Uh, and finally, the third one is uh, pandemic unemployment assistance. We answered your questions on how to get about $700 per week. But now, let me answer some of your 122 EIDL grant questions before I get to that bombshell shortly. Sean Lazarus, who keeps on giving you a thumbs down? How rude, what a jerk. I mean, we know who he is. He's just jealous, the heat is on. Uh, Jape Willie, bombshell. SBA sending out EIDL advanced status update emails. Basically, your initial application has info that had issues with it. They send this email to a portal to update and change it before the advanced only. Here's the full email below. Um, there will be a green button that will say update information. So I think he's referring to these are my March and April, my OG EIDL applicants when, uh, that I'm getting to shortly. But that's the confirm information. Uh, if you do not have a bank account that satisfies the criterion above. Oh, this is interesting. The account has to have your business address and your business phone number. The account is opened using your business tax ID number, EIN, or social security number, matching the values of your international app, your initial application. I mean, does that sound familiar? Who's been saying that to you? So here, I mean, we're already doing a bombshell. We're not even into the video yet. So here is the actual email from Javita the Late that says, hey, we would need to confirm your identity to send you grant money. And when we do, we want your account information. And this is how we want the account the banking account to be it has to match the business legal name matching the values entered in the business information so as i've been saying since since april when you do the streamline application the, the words you put on the application have to match the bank account Everything has to match. Everything has to match. Has to match the Secretary of State. Has, Secretary of State has to match how you put on the stream application. Has to match what's on the bank account. Everything has to be consistent. I mean, down to the word, the lettering, the punctuation, the spelling. No paraphrasing. No uh, no no changing of letters. No ink instead of incorporation. It has to be literally exactly the same. The account is open using your business tax ID, EIN or SSN. So yeah, if if you open the account under the EIN, it's really supposed to be a social security number. Messing up there as well. 
Common reasons why the account validation might fail. Oh, I love this. Thank you for this email. Common reasons why the account validation might fail would be the business name changed since opening the account, using a personal account for business, account being in someone else's name, such as spouse or friend, reusing a bank account for multiple purposes. Wow. I mean, here we go. This was the topic of this channel's videos in April, and now... <laughs> Javita Light is making it a topic of her discussion. I think the jealousy is setting in. Uh, so, wow, they absolutely want the bank name should be the official name of the bank. Oh, wow, <laughs> that too. So don't mess up the bank name either. Double check your account is still open, able to receive payments. I mean, I've done that too. I have said that as, as an update to viewers because I had a viewer who said, oh, I closed the bank account. I can't get the money. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, open account is open using your business legal name matching the values entered in the business information section all this is critical if you do not have a bank account that satisfies the criterion above it is very likely your advanced reconsideration request will fail again it is recommended to open a new bank account that is able to satisfy the requirements and submit your reconsideration request with a new bank account that is associated with your business so I think what this email is for is for people who had an EIDL loan denial. They ask for their grant money, as you have been taught by this channel to when you get an EIDL loan denial, you're to write them a reconsideration of the denial of the loan and ask for your grant money. This is the email you get. It's called an advance reconsideration request, blah, 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 blah. So um, got to get it right. Uh, Huanton, family member applied Monday evening, grant received on Tuesday, eligible amount of 76000 received Wednesday, requested 24000 load and approved 6, 6 p.m. Oh, my goodness. So there we go. One viewer has already gotten their grant and loan in three days. Applied on Monday evening, got the grant on Tuesday, got the loan approval so this viewer got the loan, the grant, all approved, and uh, I don't know if it's refunded, but got everything approved within three days. Amazing. There you go. Uh, Joseph Dreamhouse, LA, you're the best. Thank you. Elizabeth Alice Carr, I love you, LA. So I received an email from SBA 3 a.m. on Saturday saying they wished me to verify reconsideration. Going to the beginning, I first applied on April 2nd. I got a denial on April 2nd. I've not pursued reconsideration until you brought it up again this past Saturday. I received a reconsideration email that I received my grant. Is this possible? Yes. That's what I just heard. You know, it's funny. I was going to leave this for the 10-minute mark, but it's it's uploaded. It's, it's front-loaded in this video. So there you go. That is what that email looks like. I just went over it with you. Thank you for that one viewer who, who gave that to me. Ask Michelle, hey, I like saw SBA pull my credit. The question is, what time will they pull? Will I see the grant alone money shortly thereafter? Helene Gerhack, I received a $4,000 EI deal. Great, so great, so much appreciated. Thank you. I assume you have four employees. Alex14, I applied back in March, only received an email. All multiple applications, system glitch. I keep on getting the same answers. Um, Alexis, you need to call your senators and your congressmen right away. It's too long. Thank you for joining this channel. Um, it's been too long. And you need to call, call SBA daily. Karina, you're so awesome. I love your spirit. True blessing. Thank you. Aaron, 412, uh, 4717 applied. Portal open 617. Invitation portal. $1,000 appeared in bank account today. Wow, congratulations. James Leggard, big time thanks, Ella, you're the best. Thanks to you, errors in my initial application have now been corrected with both li live and email. Uh, SBA folks talked to me earlier today. Wonderful, that's great. Jerry applied in June and Javita wrapped her lovely scarf around me on Monday and pulled me over into processing. Today, uh, today I wake up with a beautiful grant sitting in my account. Wow, congratulations, that is fast. Mothers 100 applied Monday, got an email on loan, uh, an email to the loan portal, called to ask for a grant on Tuesday, said it was coming. Wonderful. Wednesday, $1,000 in count, applied originally in the agricultural portal. Wonderful. Political little bombshell, loan hit grant, no ground, $6. I don't know what that means. Shorty Duop. On first glance, I read a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, Master 499. Can you hope you can answer this on today's video? Okay, let's go, Master 994999. My loan was funded this morning, very small amount, $2,000. I still haven't received my advanced uh, invite to the portal. Invite to the portal. Spoke to Tier 2. They said next week. So frustrating. Hope you're having a nice day. Oh, so that's the only question? So, yeah, you'll get it. I mean, 
um, if you don't get in two weeks, I would be wrong. So I would call SBI. I would stay on top of it. I would email them. Um, I wouldn't just roll over and do nothing for a week, but it should come within a week. H2O, tell me and update me as well. Well, H2O, just talked to SBA, he told me that a grant is an advance. It doesn't need to be paid back. No records need to be kept. This is completely different than the information, the initial info. Confused. Yes, the grant is... I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go through all this semantics. It's apples, it's oranges. It's 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 your money. It is yours. You don't have to repay it. I, that's just <laughs> let's just do it simple. Uh, according to Alex, great video. Thank you for keeping up. Update is funny. Thank you so much. Political. Lil. What is the husband and wife? What if a husband and wife file a joint tax return with two different income sources on one being a 1099 MSC? Um, so there's a question where a person wants to apply twice because there's two sources of income on a joint tax return. No, I, I, I think it's one. I think it's one attempt. They're going to ask you who owns the business and it's going and they're going to ask you to put both of your names and you're going to get one check. That's the unfortunateness of of you know the wonderful things about being married and one of the bad things about being married is you put everything on the joint tax return. You didn't have to. You could have kept it separate. And it's cases like this where it's better to keep things separate. Um, Khalil Townsell. I applied on Monday. No grant money. I received the link to the portal this evening. Wow. Congrats. That's fast. Kevin Walker. Just wanted to thank you for the green info. I applied on Monday and today, Thursday, I went, I went to the portal. I said I was eligible for 27000 I reduced it to 25000 Hit submit. No grant money has been wired. Fingers crossed. That's interesting. So, wow, it's it's really, I thought that there's no loans being processed this week for the new applicants. Sure enough, this viewer got his loan approved within three days, hasn't gotten the grant money. I am, you know, as I said before, if you did not watch to the end of the, um, the second EIDL video today, I am very sorry there's an elephant in the room. We all know what the elephant is. The elephant is that these March and April applicants have never gotten anything. They're just sitting around and these June people just walk in like it's, you know, Piccadilly Circus and they're getting everything approved within 20 seconds and people went away around for three months and got a penny. Um, so I understand the grief that my March and April viewers may have in watching this video and I'm here to help you. Uh, Randy Bly, this is Randy from Alexand Alahamp. Alabama. During my first year of business, my 2000 taxing, 18 taxes showed $9,000 of losses. Um, therefore, I'm showing no economic loss. What do I do? When I do my 2019, it show more another loss. They want me to go through stage of reconsideration. I feel I have no up-to-date software to deal with a $9,000 loss. Well, I need to know, Randy, why they denied you. If they denied you based upon bad credit, credit is different than your, your business loss. I mean, you may have a business loss because you have big deductions so um, or big expenses. So it, it is more it is more to that. Tell me why you got denied. Bill Lemon, a very appreciative OG Vortex survivor. I'm chagrined to ask, but it's help, is helping my wife's application. I'm unsure to continue under new policies. Her offer was, was $1,600. We spent more on postage than principal over the next 30 years. If she just wants to take the grants, what's the best way to go forward? Um, so she applied on 615, offer on May 617. So here, here's another viewer, Bill Lemon, who's been with the channel since the very beginning. His wife applied on six, uh, 615. She got the loan offered before the grant. Oh, God. Javita's is making a heart on me. <laughs> some viewers are getting grant before loan, and some are getting grant loan before grant, and we're only, you know, three days into this new program. Oh, God, how do we, should we proceed? I I don't know how you should proceed. This is why is a person one comment below on on the page from you getting the grant before the loan, you're getting the loan before the grant. I just I just don't know I just don't know the answer. Um, you got thirty days to accept, so I would wait. I think you're gonna get the grant in the next thirty days. I would not accept it yet. Um, moreover, she needs more than $1,600. I would play with that toggle switch. Watch the second EIDL video, video to see what I'm talking about. I'm Wimberly. I have a question. I received an offer and that all went well, but I do the verification question. I got one question wrong. It's like a crazy question. Like what street is closest to the street on which the street is listed? I never heard. It doesn't allow me to finish the process. How can I fix that? Um, so it's one of those security questions, I guess. It's a confusing security questions. Um, you're going to have to call SBA. I, I, I'm not good on how to answer crazy security questions, and some of them are crazy. Uh, I would call SBA on that. Uh, <laughs> I am Wimberly. 615 again, waiting for approval. 
took 75 days, but already on the next step in the last 48 hours. Oh, good. So this is the second corporation. My first corporation was funded and approved. LA, you need to be a host with tea and cookie at night. You have to wear a scarf to the festive event. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Taylor, SBA emailed me yesterday, asked for my info, received another inquiry on my Experian credit score. This morning email saying they repo my credit, although it's due to a large amount of applications, no timeline, 330 applicant. I'm curious if I call today, will more information be available? Also, my income was was oh, $119,000 any last year. Uh, yeah, you'll get a loan for that. That's not the problem. So you're saying, although due to the large number of applications, no no. Um, when did you apply, Michael Taylor? I can't tell from you when you applied. Uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to answer the question. Boy, I'm already 42 minutes of the video. I haven't bopped the bombshell. I'm messing really badly up today. I'm sorry. So let's get right to this. Um, oh Lord, horrible. There's so many questions and so many good things I had to hit there. So. If you are a new applicant and want that EIDL grant money, it should be already coming to you. But what's already apparently coming in the comments already is that grant money is coming to some for new applicants in June and May before loan money. And others, the loan money is coming before the grant money. Why is this and how does this happening? And when do you get the grant money? I don't know. I don't know. It's coming very fast. But for some reason, some are getting loan money and loan processing approval before grant money. It's just a hot mess. Now, if you are my OGs, my March and April applicants that have never received grant money, the way you need to do it is you need to get your loan processed. You need to get your loan finalized. The way you get your loan finalized is you call your senators and get it out of where it is. You get it either a denial or an approval. Hopefully it's an approval. Um, once that is done, then you need to write SBA. If you have an EIDL loan denial, you need to write a reconsideration. And in that reconsideration, ask for the grant money. You will get one of those emails that I detailed earlier. Thank God there was a bombshell earlier in this video because I feel like I'm cheating people out, holding you to 14 minutes to tell you this. But you need to email SBA and say, hey, where is my grant money in that reconsideration letter? So when you're writing the reconsideration letter of the denial of the EIDL loan, you need to put in there, hi, by the way, I also want my EIDL grant money. They will then send you that um, advanced portal request, you know, the, all these terms they use. And once you get that within seven day, days, you get the, the money. So those two common questions come up are, when do you get this portal request? You should get within about a week. The longest I've heard is two weeks. If it's longer than two, there's something going wrong. How fast do you get the money about a week after you do the portal thing for the grant? Um, some of you have asked, what does he mean by portal? Uh, it's it's an invite by email to the email address you invited that you provide SBA that sends you to a website that you sign in and that you start doing stuff and you have to confirm banking information. That's what I had discussed at the top of this video. Um, there you go. Finally, the most obvious thing, which I'm going to answer for the 9,000th time. <laughs> You know what I gotta say. No, you're not getting the remainder of the ten thousand dollars grant. <laughs> All right, so let's let's see what else wonderful thing is coming out today. Uh, just saying, that's that's a scream name. Just saying, I'm one of those who sent an advance email to correct information. Are there no changes to update? So I re-entered everything. I wonder if the second confirmation will cancel the first. I don't know. That's really weird. I have no idea. They usually go earlier first in time. Uh, Edris Noor. Hey, LA, always a pleasure watching your channel. Anyways, my EID was turned down. I received a $1,000 grant email reconsideration saying I made a mistake I, about cost of goods. Um, how long before I reach a decision? What can I or should I do if I get turned down again? If you get turned down again, you can appeal again. And the whole different body looks at you. We did that in our reconsideration videos. So a denial of a reconsideration, you can also appeal. And a whole different department looks at you. Um, if you think you're, you're one, if you have wonder, if you have thoughts about how you did your reconsideration, you can send them more information. So if you're thinking about this and you're like, oh, I did my cost of goods wrong, um, you can send them more financial information. How long does it take to them to reach your decision? <sighs> Less than 30 days. That's what I have heard from the viewers of this channel. Paris, I got my $1,000 grant, wasn't approved for the loan. What do you say? to do for the reconsideration, write a reconsideration letter. Asking them, where's my grant money? I got $1,000. <laughs> delete. Uh, Umani talking. I'm not deleting you. That's what Jovita's going to do. She can delete the email. 
Uh, Umani, thank you, sir, for the viable information, which is an independent contract. I lost my job due to COVID-19. I'm sorry. I prepared my business plans, strategic plans for my clients, but they have not compensated me for work. Awful. They claim they did not have the money. Horrible. Can I get an IDL grant money or some other program? What a wonderful email. Uh, message. Yes. So um, you can get EIDL. So you are an independent contractor, Uman. I'm sorry I butchered your name before. Uman. Um, so you're an independent co index con index contractor. I think you mean independent contractor. So you need to go to sba.gov and apply for EIDL loan and grant money. You need to do it right away. Um, if you are structured as an LLC, partnership, corporation, or anything like that, you will choose the item that is 500 employees or less. If you are a solo um, or an independent contractor, you choose independent contractor. F a footnote, <laughs> some of you have sent me the nastiest messages of how I butchered the thing about uh, solos having employees or independent contractors having employees. Okay, the love is good, but please tone it down, Lord. It was like I, like the militia of independent contractors came after me when I made one comment about number of employees, Lord. Um, okay, so back to Uman. Can I get EIDL grant or loan money? Yes, you absolutely can. Can I get other programs? Yes, you can. You can get PUA. Watch my third video on Second Stimulus Check tonight. It's about PUA. It doesn't say it in the title, um, but it says like $700 per week in the title. Please watch that video. It's from today, and it will explain to you how you get pandemic unemployment assistance, PUA. Thank you so very much for your help. I have copies of business plans and strategy plans I prepare for clients. Wonderful. Thank you for joining this channel as well. Mr. Rich O, my wife applied 616, received a portal invite 617, uh, was told her credit was locked, so she unlocked except the offer. Yes, that was our video earlier this week. If your credit score is locked, you're getting nothing. you got to unlock it. That's the new policy. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Paul Iman. Hey, I like apply 413. Credit inquiry 526. 617 was told by SBA. My email address was off. I confirmed my email address. Was told I'm eligible. I have to go through a portal. Hope this helps others in limbo. Good. And why? Hey, LA, I'm from um, from Pennsylvania. I applied uh, for grant in May. They had an issue with my bank, so they didn't let me get the funds. Watching your videos, I asked them, where's my grant money? Tier 2 says, just wait. To take a Today, I found the bank. Grant money was in my deposit. It took me nine days after my loan money was deposited. I did get separate portal invites from SBA grant, though. Just loan. Inv I didn't get a separate portal invite from SBA for the grant. Just the loan. Thank you, LA. You're so helpful and so hilarious. Love watching your videos. Well, congratulations, Ann and Juan. Uh, great news. I'm glad the videos helped you. I'm glad you got what you needed. Um, stay with us and help other viewers going forward. Um, Master 499. Oh, I answered you, Master 499, in the second EIDL video today. Um, Beatrice Roja. Oh, God, there goes the comment about the sole proprietor. Lord. Uh, Vinny's. <laughs> oh, Ricardo loves when I say OGs. My OGs. Yes, it's my EIDL OGs. Uh, Vinny's, hey, LA, you're doing a great job. Received a loan offer on 612, signed the promissory note, deposited. They also said I'll get another email of a grant portal to sign. Is that shift another goalpost? No, that's how they're doing it. Um, I'm not going to get... Oh, wait, maybe I will. Wait, is this all one message? No, I'm not going to get to all your EIDL grant questions today because there's a lot. I, and I tried to zoom through them. But I don't want to make this video 45 minutes long because no one wants to listen to me for 45 minutes. Um, if you have questions in today's, well, all right, let me let me answer a few more. <laughs> Psych. Uh, let me answer a few more. Uh Audrey, I'm trying to find the mainstream lending program in my area, East Tennessee. I don't know. Look for your FDIC lender. Call them up. Pizza got finally news, got funded $39,000. Good. Wade Albert, can you apply for EID loan and grant if you start your business early January 2020? Yes. Um, it's very close to the deadline, but it may not, you, have, you won't get a lot of money because I'm going to ask for 2019 documents. Russell, thank you for all your tips. I'm a 330 Vortex. Um, after writing to SBA, I finally received a denial. That's fine with me. I received a portal for, to get my grant. This was one week ago. Good. If you really want the loan money, um, uh, do a reconsideration. Also, if you have another business that qualifies, apply for that one. We've done videos for that as well. Hawu Lai got an SBA saying they need to update my information. Why? They denied me a month ago. That's to get your grant money. 
Uh, Robert Durnham. Very long email he sent to SBA. And it goes on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Political little. I got my loan approved June 10th and June 11th before signing loan documents. Asking for my grant. I was told it's coming in a few days. No grant. June 16th, I got my loan, but no grant. I'm just going to call again. No grant portal. Wow, I'm glad you got your loan. Congratulations, Palola. I know you've been with us channel for a long time. Uh, the grant should come around now. Glenn, love your spray on tan. It's not spray on tan, please. It's bad lighting. Jimmy Jan, I got the email approval loan called SBA. Um, they told you once you get the grant, you accept the loan. I had to apply for that period. Awful. Apply equal and the same. Hell, like, good news. I'm, I'm one of those two. April 6th Vortex people. My son got his loan $11,000 this past Tuesday. He called again for the grant and was told if he doesn't receive his grant by next Tuesday, call back. Tier 2, but he doesn't know and has asked for Tier 2. Thanks for LLA. I got my loan deposited yesterday. Congratulations. Uh, still waiting for the grant, but having faith. So about a week after you get that loan money. That's wonderful. And now we've trained your feet like to around time. For two weeks of this application or maybe combined efforts, we will get the remainder of the grant money back to up to about $10,000. Thanks again, LA Late Land. Very nice. Thank you, Equal and the Same. Very co nice comments. Really appreciate that. See, I'm glad I continued. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to get them all done. Jasmine Ray, great video, very informative. 700 Club Bombshell Buddha. Uh, it took a notch contacting Ted Cruz. I received a phone call and an email from Javita's office. Wow. I'll let you know what happens, my friend. I don't know anything about tier two, but I know that I'm rocking the boat. Wow. Robert Chat. After talking with Charlie, Chris, and Marco Rubio involved them, they got things fixed, quick, told quick fuzzies. Three weeks later, I got the portal to update my crank banking information. No updates, no money. New people are getting the, their money in 24 hours. Um, stay with it, Robert. You should be getting it now. Um, I don't know, Are you? Is, was your loan denied? Because you should be getting that grant advance now. James Hamilton, hey, Elliot, I'm the guy who hit pretty hard a few days ago and threw your papers by you and dropped the mark. Uh, <laughs> um, everyone has a story. I haven't told mine, but I feel I need to. LA, it feels... It feels a more educa educated and helpful channel helping those. I understand your frustration. I unloaded a bald dude. Looks like uh, I know you're talking. I feel bad for his view. So uh, why did you? However, I was right. The portal in question was indeed the one that was up there now. It did not. I repeat, it did not limit only to agriculture. I did not receive a denial email the next day, but I did receive your application as processing on the 15th. Oh, congratulations, James Hamilton. Just minutes after announcing the portal, $1,000 hit my bank. Yes, yeah, so that's the case. So the viewers of this channel who applied when there was agricultural have now gotten their grant money right away. Um, and then early this morning, I'm positive, I'm positive. This is was my second business. I was trying. Fortunately, I'm not be able to get that. I'm a scrupulous partner who flew the coop. Um, no way of fixing it. I'm old school, can barely navigate my phone. I'm completely exhausted. I'll tell your story soon. You can get a picture of where I'm actually coming from, and it's not pretty. Keep up the good work. So I'm glad you got the $1,000 grant. Um, you should be getting the loan offer. So even though you're ag, agricultural, you are now being processed. Um, and as you saw in the earlier comments of this video, viewers who are, who are now in this May, June applicants are getting grant and loan money right away. Um, so it should be coming. Have faith. Thank you for staying with me. I'm not tossing you this time. La Cordia first. Annette Jackson. Uh, Rich Nostro. A friend of mine applied for EID on money. Got, yeah, everyone's getting it right away. Beatrice. Again, with the sole proprietors, Beatrice. Uh, Brian, what's the lowest loan portal uh, loan people have seen? You got 3,900, so watch my second video. That's about negotiating the loan amount, get money hustle. Um, has anyone received any idea of granting your personal account? Yes, serving the most God first, will to stay a wagon. Is it good practice for an LLC or business to have a business checking account, a savings account? Yes, you need them. If you heard at the beginning of the account, you, video, you absolutely have to have them. And Brian and, uh, uh, oh, I answer Brian Hen. And that is it. I got everyone done. It's 27 minutes. Wow. Seven minutes to zoom through four more pages. So there you go. If you have questions about today's video, drop them in the comments below. We have three EIDL videos today. Earlier today, and I'll drop them links above. EIDL loan. EIDL negotiating your loan up and down. Three second stimulus check videos. First on 50,000 new jobs. Second on getting uh, $50 million in grant money, new grant money. And finally, answering your POA questions. If you have comments today, we may feature them in tomorrow's according if we see them by 2 p.m. Pacific. Standard time. As always, stay up LA for more.